Hey Creep family, it's your girl Monica. We are back with the third look in our 13 Days of Halloween series with Valak the Nun from The Conjuring. As usual, please like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to become part of the Creep family. We would love to have you here. But without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. All right, you guys, so I already have a little bit of makeup on, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off my brows and all the foundation surrounding them. Then going in with my Elmer's glue stick, I'm gonna start by blocking out my brows by putting a generous amount on there, combing the hairs up with the spoolie, and then putting about five to six layers of more glue on there. While that is drying down completely, I'm throwing on a wig cap and some contacts. Then taking my white cream paint, I am putting this all over my face since the rest of our body is going to be covered up. We really only need to be worried about this area. Then taking some translucent setting powder, I'm setting that all down. I'm then going in with some black eyeshadow on a contour brush and I'm starting to carve out my cheekbones. So I'm going in a little bit heavy handed here and then whatever's kind of left over on the brush, I'm dragging this down and kind of creating a more elongated cheekbone and then making sure to blend that in to kind of create a hollowed out cheek effect. We're then going to be using that same black eyeshadow to contour our nose with. So since Velik has a very long pointy nose, we're going to basically try to recreate that with the shadow. So I'm just going along the sides of my nose and then when I get to the tip, I'm kind of creating a point down there and then going in and obviously blending that all in. We're then taking a black eye pencil and I'm using this in my waterline and I'm also using this to create the base of the black eyeshadow for our eyes. So I'm just going ahead and slapping this on my eyelids, uh, both on the top and bottom and then just blending the edges out with a brush. Again, the nice thing with this, you do not have to be perfect with it. You kind of want a messy look. But once you're done with this part, then you're gonna go in with your black eyeshadow and place it right over top and smudge this out as well. So taking that black eyeshadow, I'm just kind of dragging this up through my brow bone area. I'm also taking kind of what's left over on the brush and placing this around my nostrils just to really start accentuating those areas. Again, because Valak has a bigger nose there. I'm making sure to blend that out so it's not too just giant splotches. But then I'm also making sure to drag the shadow down through my uh, left lines here, the lines around my mouth to deepen and accentuate those. And this is where the face really starts coming to life. So I'm doing this with the frown lines around my mouth and then also accentuating the eye bag area. Just kind of doing the same thing, starting with a little bit at first, slowly building it up and blending it out. I'm placing some of the shadow under my lower lip as well. But then I'm just going in and around my face and just kind of doing little detail work with the shadow until I'm happy with it. Once that's all good, I'm then going in with a black lip color and I'm placing this obviously all over my mouth, patting it out with my finger to give it a more blurred out messy effect. And then going back in and adding a little bit more of that black in the center of my lips just to darken it out a little bit more. And then taking a brown water activated face paint on a brush and just flicking this all over my face to give a more dirtied kind of effect. I'm then going in and stippling some black water activated face paint along my mouth to give it even more texture down there. Dragging the corners down as well to give a more crazy defined frown. And then also taking that kind of stippling texture and putting this around my eye sockets as well as around the edges of my nose and kind of just wherever I want to put a little bit of that dirty texture. Then taking a very fine paintbrush, I'm using this to start accenting some of the lines on my face as well as creating these kind of little demonic cracks in the face, veiny things, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Using a reference picture of Valak, obviously during this whole process, is going to be your best friend. Um, I'm just accentuating the crow's feet here. Again, just kind of going through, adding these lines and texture wherever I see fit. Next, we're going to throw some mascara on the top and bottom lashes. 
And then that's it you guys, you are now Velik the Nun. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, again if you did please give it a like, comment, let me know down below. As always I will be placing the link of the contacts that I'm using in the description box as well so go check them out. As always thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate and love you all and I will catch you in the next video. Mwah.